hi friends, I'm Star. Welcome to the Inn of Bethlehem. I guess you heard about all the crazy things happening around here. You haven't? Well, have I got a story for you. And the best part is, it really happened. It was just like any other night in Bethlehem. Or so we thought. For on that starry night, God sends us a miracle from heaven in the form of a little baby. We were surprised that something so important could happen in our sleepy little town. But the prophet Micah did tell us about it in the scriptures when he said that straight out of tiny Bethlehem would come one who would be ruler over Israel. Something about today, I can feel it. It's a beautiful day, and we get to shine. Get that body into gear, Magnus. There's not a minute to waste. I'm looking like well, my eyes are, and you look marvelous. We better get to the stables. Our animal friends will be hungry right about now. Well, thanks to your early rising, friend. Breakfast is ready and waiting. Starve out of burly, cooked breakfast, and set the table. Thanks, Let's grab some to go, Gertie. Then it'll sound like they're hungry, too. And you know, they really need a stable diet. Wait, before we go, before we go about our chores, I just want to take a minute and celebrate. What's to celebrate? That we're orphans and it's just another day in Bethlehem? And who's this? 
this ray of sunshine. Everyone, this is our newest guest. He needed a place to stay, so we invited him in. Well, that's how we all got here. Tracy had room in her inn, and now we're one big, happy family. Gonna stay with us for a while? Only because I seem to be less noisier than the streets. Well, my slightly grumpy new friend, I'm glad that you can be here today, too, because... Is she always this perky? Today is my one-year anniversary of being here with you guys. Has it really been a year already, Star? Yep, I just want to take a minute to appreciate everything and everyone that has made this past year so special. And what's so special about being here in Bethlehem? So many things. Be good, but there's good in every day. Our God is the impossible, He will make a way. The darkest possibilities are walking in His way. wonder who could have dreamed it was possible to invent something so advanced. Okay, my sparkly friends, I'm raring to go. I'll come to the checking desk. I'll tidy up the end. What are you going to do, Zuli? Where are you going to help out, Blake? Uh, I'm going to feed my dog, too. <coughs> you have a doll? Huh? We can introduce her to our dogs. They can be big dolls and friends. Sorry, kids. I was just joking. You know, Blake, helping out at the end is one of the ways we can, we orphans can really make a difference. Magnus is right. I'm thankful for a safe place to stay and for people that love me. Helping Trixie out is the way we show it. Why don't you go check out some of Grady's animals? She will tell you all about them. Whatever. <laughs> Here you go, some nice nutritious food. 
Ask out you chickens. Don't know if you're sheepish. There now, eat up. I know it's going to be busy here in Bethlehem. They sent me out here to help. I followed the smell. Everyone, I'd like you to meet our newest friend, Blake. Blake meet our oh-so-very-talented animal friends. Talented? They do tricks or something? Better than that. They sing. Well, sing might be a little bit of a stretch. Nope, they definitely sing. It's a moving experience. I call Um, them from farm to stable. Okay. Do you hear it? Yes. Everyone, let's show them what we've got. dedication. Only two rooms left. The numbers are up 33% from last year. This census has sure helped your business, and the day has been flying by. Ooh, here comes your next customer. I'll show you the ropes, Blake. I bet there are these, and there's some bigger in the one. Of course, sir. We are so happy you have chosen to stay with us today. Third drawer on your left. <clears throat> Only one room left. This place is really hopping. It's like everyone is here to celebrate my one year anniversary. Ooh, and here are two more. <clears throat> oh, we need a very rest room. I hope it isn't anywhere near the stables. I don't want my room smart to go in. Right this way, please. I hate to micromanage Blakely, but you, may I call you Blakely? But you could use a a little bit more when you talk to the customers. Try adding more drama to make every sentence an announcement. Ooh, here's your chance. 
except wait, we have no room. So. Welcome to the inn. We have no room. Okay, maybe a little less drama. No. <clears throat> Please, we've been traveling all day, and as you can see, my wife simply can't travel any further. Oh my goodness, I can see that. Let me get her a chair. My family is ready for King David, came for Bethlehem. We've traveled long and far to register for the census. We needed a place to stay. Mary's about to have a very special baby. Babies are always special. I knew today was going to be extraordinary. I just knew it. You don't know about half of it. Want to hear the story? I'm ready. Lay it on me. The animals are all taken care of. I could go for a story. Gather around, everyone. Story time! <laughs> what I'm about to tell you will be hard to believe. But I assure you, it's the truth. Truth. An angel came to me in a dream and she said, Wait, an angel? Yeah, an angel. Okay, sorry. Go on. I just wasn't expecting it to go that way. Tell me about it. She will give birth to a son and you will call he will save his people from their sins. And they will call him, they will call him, they will call him. They will call him, they will call him, they will call him. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us, God with us. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us, God with us. You saw an angel. You did? What did the angel say? Mary, Mary, Mary. You found favor with God. Mary, do not be afraid. You found favor with God. Mary, Mary, Mary. You found favor. You could stay with my amazing animal friends. Me and John Luke keep it pretty clean in there, and I can make sure they're really well behaved. And plus, my animal choir could sing to you. What? That's very generous. Thank you. <laughs> Follow me. Can you believe it? I knew this was going to be. A, a, I knew this was going to be a day to remember. I have a certain way of knowing when the day is going to be incredible. I can tell these things, you know. Don't you think the day is always going to be incredible? Well, yes, but it always is. Listen, kid, you gotta dial it down. I've been on for I've been on my own for a while, and I can tell you things aren't as awesome as you think. What do you mean? 
This is an ordinary inn. It's not a special day. Those animals don't sing, and just because you think you have a family, you're still an orphan. Stay around for a while. You'll see what I mean. I don't think so. As soon as I can earn some more money here, I'll be getting straight out of Bethlehem. Let's think logically, Blake. Both Mary and Joseph saw different angels that told them the same thing. What are the chances that two different people would see angels? <laughs> we just seen an angel! Hundreds of angels! It was terrifying! Yeah, it was scary! They said the same would be born tonight! See? Someone else saw angels tonight, too. We sure did. They were everywhere. <coughs> Let me fill you in. Yeah, listen up. Ooh, I feel another story coming on. Man, they were just appearing left and right, and it really passed out. And we were like, whoa. And they were like, can you dig it? Dig what? We were twice in the fields with our sheep like we always do. But we saw a funky, groovy sight. It's a grown cool cat was bringing it on over to us. And I'm dying no money. Suddenly, suddenly, the glory of the Lord shone out about them, and they were terrified. <laughs> terrified. <laughs> then we froze in fear because the angel spoke. Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news, good news of great joy. For everyone, to you I was born this day in 
the city of David, a Savior, Messiah, the Lord. We sing a disco gloria. 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 Did the right thing told us when you found a baby wrapped in a cloth lying in a thing. And suddenly, 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 there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens. Glory to God. Glory to God. Peace on earth among those he favors. Glory to God. on trucking to Bethlehem to see what the Lord had made known to us. I want to give him something, but I don't have anything. You're an orphan. No one expects you to give him anything. How can we not offer all we have to the Messiah, the Savior of the world? Use the 
baby. He has forgotten about us. He doesn't have time for people like us. Blakely, how could you say that when you look around? When I look around, I see a bunch of kids with no parents who are stuck living in an inn because nobody cares about them. No one has ever cared about me. This place is crazy. I'm leaving. Blakely, wait. We care about you. We want you to stay. How can you even say that? I've been mean to you. I've tried to hurt your feelings. We've all been there. We all know your anger represents a deeper hurt within. We all feel it. But we have felt the love of God through the end, and now through the end. God promised to hear the cries of his people and to send them aside. All evidence indicates that the baby in the manger is him. God has proven that he has not forgotten about us. us to ever be alone again because God has adopted us into his royal family and we are his forever.
But in this place, kneeling for this baby, I feel different. I feel peace. And now I know I'm part of a family. God's family. Yes. Now, now it's like you're my brother. And you'll never have to be alone again. Oh, boy. 